Hey guys, Ashley Halfman from the Sunshine Veranda, and today we are going to learn how to cook and cut a spiral sliced ham. So let's get to it. It's Easter, so usually on the holidays I like to do here turkey, but today I'm doing uh, ham. So first you need your ham, beautiful eight-pound ham from Publix. Then you'll need my trusty IKEA board. I have some kitchen shears, some open packaging, and then I won't make these till later, but I have my uh, Cutco Carver and my Cutco Carving Fork. I have a tape, uh, roasting pan, I use a corningware, so I use the hand. This is it, with some foil, so I'm gonna put some in there. And then lastly, of a mitt, I had Mickey Mouse one because it makes me happy. So, all right. So, to make things easier, I'm gonna go ahead and use my kitchen chairs to cut open the packaging. I started to pre-cut it just so one can see long. And, go here. Even though I'm not cutting just yet, I still like using my cutting board as a little Baby out of here. Eight pounds of deliciousness. So, thank you. Let's go ahead and take this goodness out. Just wash my hands. So, take it. And you want to lay the flat side down. Like so. All right. Now that we have that in there, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing except for pen stick with the foil. foil. You get it kind of nice and tight, so it keeps all the juicy in there, kind of moist when you take it out. Now, I am using the directions that came with the ham. And it says for every pound, it's about 10, 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go based on that. Um, I always like to take whatever my time is and subtract about 15 minutes um, just to so I can keep checking on it. Um, I'm gonna check that, take it out around that time anyway because I'm going to actually add a glaze to the top. So, all right. There you have it, let's get this goodness in the oven. guys, moment of truth. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the ham. Now, this is a spiral sliced ham. Otherwise, you would normally keep it facing down, but this is spiral sliced, so we're actually going to put it on the platter and put it on its side. So, however, if this was not a spiral sliced ham, you would leave it face down and you would cut, find the shank of the bone and you would cut it along the side and do 45 degree angle cuts. So we're gonna go ahead and safely and carefully move our ham to our platter so we can start cutting along the fat lines to make nice, beautiful, even slices. So I know it's super tempting to leave it face down and cut along the bone, like the shake in the middle. However, the spiral cut, that's not the case. So what you wanna do is actually lay it sideways 
And then you actually find the fat lines, the three major ones that you're going to do. I've already done a couple, so you can see how nicely they came out. Puppy work. So I just cut the first layer. See, but look how big that is. It's beautiful. All right, so I'll go again. So right on that first fat line here, you're gonna cut all the way to the bone. And then up through the fat line there. And take my carving fork. Voila, look at that. How many beautiful layers. There you go. Super easy. Spiral clap hands are amazing. Super, super, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and carve the rest of this, but you have an amazing day, an amazing day, and hope you learned a little bit today. Make sure you like the video, share, share some comments, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and be blessed.